Happy spooky season! Hi, I'm Caroline. This is Short Skirts and Sarcasm, and this is a list of creepy books for spooky season. And it is pretty much well and truly autumn here now in London. Uh, I've got out the sweaters. Uh, I'm cold all the time. So it's time for some creepy reading. So I will go through these in alphabetical order by title as usual. And I will start with Coraline by Neil Gaiman. This is a classic creepy book and uh, I hold Neil Gaiman personally responsible for everyone and their brother not being able to say the name Caroline. It's been a real problem. So this is a children's book, but I read it last year, I think around this time, because it is famously spooky. And um, it is really good. And I think adults can enjoy it as much as kids. So this is about Coraline who uh, crawls through a hole in a house that she's I think just moved into. And there's a talking cat and then she runs into her mother who has buttons for eyes and um, the she tries to keep Coraline there and she's like well of course I'm your real mother stay here and then Coraline has to try to get back to her real life. So it's short, it's delightful, it's suitably spoopy. And then next Lanny by Max Porter. Uh, I read this like springtime 2020-ish uh, but it is pretty spooky. It's a, a is the boy called Lanny? Yes, there's a boy called Lanny and he's being semi-stalked by a man made of leaves and then the leaf man kidnaps him and his family have to try to get him back. So it is pretty creepy. Not at all what I was expecting and it's also pretty short. So if you want something short to read, this and Coraline as well, they're both really short and creepy. And then sort of mid-sized Mexican Gothic by Silvio Moreno Garcia and this is a, a book about the main character, what's her name? Noemi. She receives a creepy letter from her cousin who is married to this in rich English person who owns a big house in the country. And Noemi is from Mexico City, it's 1950, so she goes to her cousin's house to try to figure out what's going on and everything in the house is really creepy and everyone there is really hostile and whenever she tries to see her cousin she's always supervised they won't leave her alone with her cousin and the entire vibe is just hostility and uneasy creepiness and then things escalate. So I thought this was really fun. I read it in October last year because it seemed creepy and it is. So I made the correct choice and I would really recommend it. And I love um, Silvia Moreno Garcia's writing style as well. Then I would like to recommend Mrs. England by Stacey Halls. This is a story about Ruby May, who is a nurse trained by a prestigious institution. It's 1904 and she's placed with the England family where everything seems normal but there's something underneath the surface that's a little bit strange. Uh, particularly Mrs. England. Um, she seems to sleepwalk, not be interested in her children and she's just a little weird and so Ruby is taking care of her four kids and trying to figure out what is going on with this family and it is suitably creepy it has um a pretty dramatic climax there's a lot of drama that goes into this it's not supernatural but it does feel very eerie. And then leaning into properly supernatural Pine by Francine Toon this is uh, a book with a child protagonist and this is pretty much one of the only books with a child protagonist that I've read that I actually like and the child protagonist her mother has passed and so she's living with her dad and they come across a ghost on the road when they're driving home in Scotland and it looks like the the mom and they get home and the daughter talks to her father about the ghost they've just seen it but he doesn't remember her so this is this ghost keeps appearing and 
the main character is the only one who can remember her and then someone goes missing from the town and so it's really creepy and again it has a pretty dramatic climax and lots of drama happens. Then a classic spooky gothic tale Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and the main character who has no name is working as a companion to a rich lady and in Monte Carlo she bumps into an older widower what's his name Mr. de Winter and he seems taken with her and she is flattered by the attention. They get married, go back to his ancestral home, and the housekeeper, Mrs. Danvers, immediately is creepy and hostile and she knows that there is something going on and she feels haunted by the metaphorical ghost of Mr. De Winter's first wife, Rebecca. And again, this is not one with any like supernatural things in it like the ghost of Rebecca seem it like isn't a real ghost it, it's just like she feels her presence throughout the house and feels like she will never measure up and that her husband and her like the place where she lives will never be her own and again this one's also pretty dramatic and it's it's a classic Daphne du Maurier's writing style is really great it has great suspense and just the overall vibe of uneasy creepiness and then last I want to recommend To Cook a Bear by Mikhail Niemi and this is a historical fiction book set I think in the 1850s in I want to say Sweden maybe it's Norway yes it is Sweden I was right the first time and I read this as an e-arc before it came out last year and this is truly creepy and it's not exactly a horror book it's kind of a thriller it's essentially about uh, these bear attacks that keeps that keep happening in this isolated town near or no, it is in the Arctic Circle. And they look like bear attacks, but then the townspeople start to realize that there's, some, there's something funny about this supposed bear and that it's actually a person, a serial killer, that has dressed up like a bear to kill these people. So the main character, I think, is a teenager and he gets into this investigation and tries to figure out who's killing these people. Because I think they turn out to all be like, really young women so it's it's just like really creepy and again dramatic and I really liked the writing style and this is in translation it was translated by Deborah Bragan Turner so I think it has a very similar vibe to Midsummer, Midsommar the horror movie starring Florence Pugh and um so I think if you like that movie you will also like this book like the plot is very different but the the creepy aspect and the death aspect are similar. So there concludes spoopy books for spoopy season and I will make more videos of other creepy books to go this uh, to go with this autumn spooky time. But I hope you enjoyed this one. You can like and follow and also follow me on social media. All my links are in the description box and I will see you next time. Bye guys.